This is how you design a tube chassis in SOLIDWORKS for an off-road race application. This one specifically is an Ultra 4 race vehicle. So now I can make some anchor points for the first arc of the 3D sketch, and the part is starting to take shape. So I need to make sure that there's room in the back for the suspension to cycle through without hitting any of the components. And I need to work around the engine, which is mid-mounted, which makes the geometry kind of tricky because I have to build an engine cage around the engine and the suspension components. And I wanna retain that egg shape for strength. So same thing on these 3D sketches. I'm focusing more on the radiuses of those sketches and letting the points lie where they intersect in a way that makes sense and tying in the front dash to those rear suspension mounting points. These are the most important parts of the sketch because these are gonna be the main structural load members on the chassis that tie the front bulkhead to the suspension components and encapsulate the driver. So they need to be really precise and really strong and curved in a way that leaves enough room for the cabin and also intersect with each other in a way where there's no bending forces on the rods and all the loads intersect at a common point at the weld. And initially I was a little bit concerned about making all of these radiuses in 3D space and keeping them constrained. But what I found was that construction geometry is incredibly useful for this because you can define an arc in three points. And if you use a construction line that's defined along one of the axes of the sketch, it defines that arc as well, wherever it intersects. So even though the arc is making some really strange trajectory through space, the construction lines sort of keep everything tied in together and keep everything constrained because what you want to avoid is a bunch of those blue lines in the 3D sketch because then if you move one thing, it moves everything. But if all of these lines are independent of each other, defined on their own arcs, then it really makes things a lot easier.